Hello everyone. This video tutorial is about how to study a satellite image of a study area with the help of Google Earth Engine. Now Google Earth Engine has several advantages like it saves a lot of data, a lot of time. If we have want to study a study area which has a uh, which is large, so uh, you if we study in ArcGIS or Erdas we have to download several image rays and then mosaic it and then we have to clip it but with the help of google earth engine we can do in a single step which saves a lot of data and time let us study for landsat 8 for example i have to study a very large area like for central india i am studying now this much area i have to study for example now if we uh, do it with the help of softwares like ArcGIS or DAS, it will take a lot of time and that also let us study and we can de uh, define this geometry as region of interest now I am creating a variable for example I have to study for Landsat 8 creating variable as landsat 8 or you can create any other variable let us download let us see for example I have to study about this top of the atmosphere reflectance this imagery I have to study download uh, just copy this you can filter this data to the region of interest so that's so that this satellite imagery just is shown within the region of interest you have to use this filter bounds I have created variable ROI so I'm writing it as ROI this region of interest now you can filter date also from uh, which range you want to study For example, I have to study within uh, between 1st January 2022, 1st January 2021. Uh, I have to write 2021. Earlier date will be written first to 2021. Sorry, filter date. You have to write. Now you can filter the you can filter the cloud cover also if you want more cloud cover you can filter it or if you want to le uh, have less cloud cover then you can filter that also I want a, le a less cloud cover because if I if I want to study for land use land cover then I have to uh, then I will be requiring less cloud cover for a say example I want a cloud cover less than one and I will be filtering that You have to write as it is because if it will generate error you can take the average values also uh, the that uh, images which has having less than one cloud cover you can take the mean values also by creating this function or if you do not want then it's up to you now you have to clip this satellite images within region of interest so right click ROI this is you can relate it with the subset of the DAS image. Let us run. The images are not showing because there is a requirement of another command. You will be requiring this command. Map dot layer. Now you have to write 
uh, variable which was created landsat 8 now if you want to study for example you want to directly study false color composite now uh, for false color composite the bands combination are for landsat 8 is 543 so you will requiring bands 543 band 5 band 4 band 3 Now let us run. Now see but you have to stretch the values also because it is not showing the fully can stretch. For example say hundred percent I am stretching the value. Now this, the red color is showing the vegetation and that this color that is dark color, this dark color it is showing the water bodies. So you can study and create the thematic maps. For exporting or downloading this data you can use the export function like this you can download uh, directly to your drive cloud storage and you can use this also for downloading it to drive you can just you have to fill the arguments like you have to fill what is the description of the image the image uh, the dimensions the scale for example resolution like 30 meters in this case and the other things when you download it it will be downloaded in a tiff format so thank you all for watching this video